My Minecraft chest room is starting to get completely full with items. And a little bit... A little bit unorganized. Um, yeah, we, we, we don't talk about it. Sometimes I wish I just had a single chest that can hold all of my items. Auto organize it for me. And never ever run out of space. Hmm. So let's grab some blocks. And build the outline for the world's largest chest over here. All right, that looks big enough. No, I'm just kidding. This is how big it's gonna be. But you really thought it was gonna be that small? It's gonna have to be huge, since this is the plan for it. First things first, we'll build the whole exterior of the world's largest chest, trying to make it as realistic as possible. Then inside it is where all the magic happens. We're gonna fill it up with thousands and thousands of chests, having literally unlimited storage. But we'll also build a fully functioning redstone system that will automatically store all my items for me in their separate own chest. Yes, that is actually possible and very very useful and also a ton of other gadgets and amenities inside so now let's craft tons and tons of black concrete and build a more detailed outline all right and to first build the exterior and fill in the walls of the world's largest chest we are going to need a mixture of different blocks so it doesn't look like like this <laughs> i want it to look as realistic as possible and by using this website i can see all the different blocks we'll need first up is of course oak planks which we need 1715 of yeah that's uh that's a lot all right 1090 strip logs my axe durability is going to be dead after getting all of these i have to strip the whole tree and then mine it Wait, never mind. I found a better way. All you have to do is hold left click and right click at the same time. And it just strips the log before you mine it. That's so much easier. I just wasted so much time. I'm stupid. Jungle logs. Yep. I don't know how jungle logs are going to make the chest look realistic. It's on the list. So let's just collect it all and hope it actually turns out well. Imagine it looks nothing like a chest when we're finished. That would not be good. Well, let's not think about it and continue grabbing the blocks because there is a ton. We are also going to need 2,010 nether bricks. So let me just place down a beacon for some haste too. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not insta mined. Oh. Okay, this is going to take a while. Um. The block we need the most of is actually orange glazed terracotta. Yeah, um, I'm starting... I'm starting to get worried a bit. Bro, if this doesn't look good, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I'm just following the website and hoping for the best. And to turn all this orange terracotta glaze, let's head inside my massive furnace, which is gonna be small compared to the chest soon. <laughs> Insert all of it into this chest. And now all I have to do is rest here until all of it is cooked. All right, all of it is cooked after only like three minutes. This furnace is actually super useful, but it's not gonna be as useful as the chest. And the last material we need is 1,130 crafting tables. Well, might as well use ugly birch wood for this. Since it doesn't matter what type of wood you use. I don't want to waste any other wood on that many crafting tables. All right, we got all the wood and I guess let's start crafting them. Uh... Uh, it kind of hurts. I'm not going to lie. Like, why the heck do I need this many crafting tables? All right, but we finally should have all the materials we need to build the exterior of the chest. It's been like six hours. And let's hope it actually looks good because uh, on the website, it looks pretty good when you're zoomed in. But I've literally just noticed if you zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it, it doesn't look good anymore. Like, why? And I'm a little bit scared. But let's just get all the white blocks and first build the white latch thingy on the chest and hope for the best. And there we go. It looks good so far. And the next thing we're going to build on the website is the outline of the chest, which is made out of nether bricks, black concrete powder, full blocks, and the gray terracotta. And replace the old black concrete outline we built at the beginning of the video. And this new outline should make the chest look a little bit more realistic. I honestly don't know. I'm just building what the website shows me. And after a while, the outline is done. And I mean, it does kind of look more realistic now. 
I guess. And it's time to get the rest of the blocks. And lastly, fill in the walls of the chest. All right, first a dark oak log, four spruce plank from soul sand, four spruce, a block, and tables. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll speed this up for you guys. So you guys don't have to painfully watch me build this block by block. But let's just hope this actually looks good. It doesn't make it look as stupid as the website makes it look. That would be very bad. I mean, it's sort of looking like a chest. It's sort of. Okay, you can't really tell with only that much filled in. So I'm just going to put my head down and grind this out. Hoping I'm not messing anything up. All right. I just finished building these two big areas. And I'm starting to not worry anymore. It's actually looking good. And luckily, if we fly super far away, it doesn't turn just all white like the website does. Let's finish up the rest of the walls so we can start working on the interior. And finally, have a better storage area. I'm tired of using this old crappy one. It's really bad. No! I just broke my shovel. Bing, bop. All right, the other two walls are complete. And now the only thing left to do is build the lid of the chest. Which should be a lot simpler, but will still take a while. And the chest is all filled. This took over 15 hours to do. Probably even more. I didn't I didn't keep track. My tools are literally almost all broken. But it was so worth it. And it's so cool to just see all the different blocks on the exterior. Making it look super detailed even from far away. And to be honest, it doesn't even look super far away since it's so big. It's more detailed than the regular chest. What the heck is this? This is ugly. When I finish with this whole thing, I want to show my friend Caleb and see what he thinks. Before we move on to build the inside, let me really quickly just build a simple 5x5 block redstone door which all i have to do is place a button on this specific block and press it uh -huh. oh this is just so clean and you're probably wondering how do i even lock this door well if you think about it all i have to do is break this button and there you go it's locked and nobody can get inside of it unless they know where to place a button but with the outside of the massive chest finish, and I a locked door to get inside so my friends can't steal from me, it's time to start working on the interior of this thing. That is going to make my world so much better. All right, I replaced the floor with white concrete because uh, it's my favorite block. But this is where the video gets good. I make this giant chest 50 million times better than my old chest room. In the middle here is where we'll build the main storage area, making it be able to hold millions of items never running out of space, and connecting up all the chests to a massive redstone auto-sorting system that will auto organize everything making it where all i have to do is clear my inventory in a system and saving so so much time then not only that but we'll fill out the outside areas with everything else we'll need like quick access item showers utilities and so 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 much so much more yeah it's gonna look sick so let's mine a ton and ton of trees craft some chests i use this crafting table that's on the chest to craft them which is kind of funny to me okay why the heck is there a creeper and work on the main storage room first. And like I said before, I want this place to hold tons and tons of items. So let's start by placing down all the chest. Oh my gosh, I, I ran out of chest. I need to mine a lot more wood than I thought. And this should be enough. No, I'm just kidding. This is how many chests we're going to need. Oh, yeah. We're going to have two layers. Compared to my old storage room, this has so much more storage. And if I ever run out of space here, I know I'm playing Minecraft too much and need to touch grass. Let's grab some item frames and place them on each chest so we can label what items are going to be in them. There we go. That's done. And now you're probably wondering how the heck are we going to build a redstone machine that will automatically store our items in these chests? Well, that might seem super complicated to do but it's actually very very simple like all you need is comparators repeaters redstone torches redstone hoppers building blocks and that's it i'm not even kidding <laughs> oh my bro i'm actually i'm actually insane minecraft player you saw that but anyways and to build the auto sorting machine on one set of chests you first just need to place hoppers connected to all of them then on the top one build a platform just like this then grab your redstone stuff and place them on the platform bang and bang redstone torch right there repeater redstone comparator and lastly one more hopper connected to this comparator 
Ooh. That's it. Now these sets of chests are connected up to an auto sorter. And to choose what specific item you want to be sorted into these chests. Let's say you want these chests to only hold cooked chicken. All you have to do in this top hopper that's connected to this comparator. Inside it is put four random filler items and cooked chicken in this one slot. Just like that. It should stop at 41. All right, perfect. Let's test it and build a hopper item transport line that goes through it. Put a ton of items inside of it and, of course, cooked chicken. And bam, only cooked chicken gets filtered and goes into these chests. And the rest of the items just go over it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Let me build the sorting system redstone on another set of chests. Collect the specific block I want it to be. Grass blocks. Clear out my inventory in the transport line. And bam, the auto sorting redstone basically filters out the specific blocks I chose. and goes into the chest. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Once you understand how simple this is, it's very, very cool. Imagine the sorting system on all these chests. This gonna be super useful and insanely good you cannot lie and what are you doing to my bro why are you <gasps> Oh my god. Uh, but to do that, we are going to need a ton of redstone materials. And I do not have enough. This is not good. So let's head in a cave and mine some redstone. Oh my god, that took forever to mine. Let's find some wood to make sticks so we can craft redstone torches. Find some stone. As you can tell, this is where I get my stone. Don't tell anyone. To make repeaters. Bam. Boards for comparators. A ton of blocks. And the last thing we basically need is hoppers. A lot of hoppers. Well, lucky for us, my friend Caleb built this massive iron farm one night. I do not know why, but um, we got iron. Oh my. It's completely full. Let me just take a little bit of this. I don't even think you'll know because this farm is literally overflowing. Now we just need chests. And I'm going to be completely honest. I'm kind of tired of mining trees in this video. It takes way too long. But I saw somewhere with the new bamboo wood that came out. It's a lot faster to make chests with bamboo. Since you can literally instant mine it with your axe. And it drops so many. So if we just craft it into bamboo. And turn it into bamboo planks. You can make chests. Oh my gosh. That's actually so much faster so let's head over to the nearest jungle that has a ton of bamboo yeah and you already know what i'm gonna do but literally after doing this for only like two minutes i have six stacks of bamboo blocks which comes to around a stack and 39 chest just from two minutes oh my gosh i could have saved so much time from doing this this is actually the new strat i'm not gonna lie no more mining trees all right, we got all the materials we good need. And let's start building all the auto sorters. First step is to place all the hoppers onto the chest. Second, redstone platform blocks, comparators, repeaters, and redstone torches. Oh my gosh, this is looking sick. Place on all the redstone dust. And of course, lastly, all the hoppers connected to the comparators. Just like that. And oh my gosh, this looks super complicated, but it's just not. I built all the auto sorters on the side chest, but not the back row chest. Since these chests are for items that can't get sorted or doesn't have a specific chest to go into. So all these chests are basically for trash. Items I don't even want sorted. <laughs> I'm not building an item sorter for rotten flesh. Uh, uh, like... No. And with the item sorters built, let's start working on the system where we'll clear our items into to be sorted in all these chests. Because right now, they are not connected up to anything. And what I'm thinking is to have it in, like, the ground right here. So let's place down some hoppers first and have barrels on top of them. And this is where I'll put all my items I want to be automatically sorted. Hopefully, I'm explaining it that well. Naturally, let's put a trapdoor in the middle. So if I want, I can just open the trapdoor and throw all the items into the hopper, which I guess will be faster. And now, to connect this up to all the chests. Let's craft a lot more hoppers. Bam. And a bunch of other stuff because this is the layout I'm thinking of. First, they'll go up a water elevator and go through the first floor right chest. Go behind and around the middle chest. Then go through the left chest side. I'm gonna say chest a lot. Up another water elevator so they can go through the second story. Wrap it around just like this. Going all the way through all of the chests. And then lastly, for the items that didn't get sorted into any of those chests, will be dropped off in the 
his back chest, which you already know will kind of be like the trash random item storage. So it just holds a bunch of random blocks. So now when I put items into these barrels, they should get transferred to the whole sorting system and automatically sorting all my items. Perfect. And I know what you're probably thinking, like, why would I pick this hopper layout? Like the loop is just super confusing and back and forth, back and forth. But trust me, this is the best layout it can be. And don't worry, this place is not going to look this ugly forever. We'll fix that soon. And before we test and see if this whole thing actually works, we first need to do the most painful, time-consuming part and decide where each specific block is going to be in all of these chests. But lucky for you guys and the power of editing, it will feel super easy. First, start off with adding all the different wood types, all the rock blocks like stone, deep slate, cobblestone, andesite, and all of that stuff, central items. And on the second layer chest is where I'm going to put all the items that are as important and use a ton, like all the nether blocks, the redstone stuff, all the different ores and all the other stuff in the rest of the chest. And all the chests are sorted for one single item now. It took about an hour, but this is gonna make my life so much easier. Let's test if it works. Okay, I got a bunch of rotten flesh, which is literally the last item that goes through the item sorter. It's at the very end. And when I put these into the barrels, it should all go into that chest. Let's see if it works. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, it's into the barrel and it should start shooting out. Oh yes, okay, it works. Now they should go through all the line of hoppers all the way to the end point. Let's just wait and see if they show up. It does take a while because the auto sorter is so big, but... Um, is it gonna work? Yo! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's go. It works. But now that we know the auto sorter works, let's now move all our items from this crappy old storage system. Bro, if you manually organize your chest nowadays, you're, you're just bored, bro. And I'm saying that just after I built one. Okay, what am I doing? I should probably transport these items in groups so they don't despawn. Uh, 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 uh. And uh, while we wait for all the items to be sorted, let's make this place look a lot less ugly. First, adding some bowls and an actual floor for the second story to stand on. And I'm using stone and smooth stone blocks because in my opinion, it just looks really, really clean. Oh yes, this looks so good. And if you're wondering how do I get up since there's no stairs, well, um, you just fly up. Just like that. Because I'm just going to be honest, if I add stairs, it's just going to look super ugly. Let's craft up some redstone lamps to light this place up so no mobs can spawn. Let's place down a bunch of crafting tables right in the middle that I can easily access. Actually, let me make this look a little bit better. It doesn't look super plain. Let's place down some banners. And to make this place look even cooler, I've been seeing pictures of people having like cool seedling white lights in their garages in real life. Like I saw on TikTok one day and it, it's just stuck in my head. Lucky for us, Minecraft literally has and rods which looks very similar so let's build all the way up above everything and this should be high enough let's see if it looks good the pictures i saw had like cool patterns that the lights had and i want to build the one with like squares and let's see okay the end rods don't fully connect but oh wait this actually might be a good idea gotta trust the process i placed on all the end rods i had but Yo, this is fire. Oh, I just noticed they have like particles on them as well. Nah, okay, let's head into the nether and mine a bunch of cores fruit so we can craft more end rods. Build the seemingly light thingy a lot bigger. Okay, I don't know why, but this actually looks sick. Just literally seeing it above you. Right now, it's kind of just like floating in the air. So let's actually craft up some chains and make it look like it's hanging from the ceiling. Even though if you look closely, the chain is not connected to it at all. Nobody will see. Okay, that looks better. For a watch, these lights are gonna be like a new trend in Minecraft. They just look so sick. Let's add some other few details. And the main storage area is complete. And now I literally never have to store any of my items. And all I have to do is put it into these barrels, just like this. It makes my life so much easier. And with this finish, before we show my friend Caleb to see what he thinks of this, let's add all the gadgets and essentials, making this chest even better. Like item showers, huge world map, enchanting, brewing, pet stuff. Oh, I was just dying there. We have about 11 empty spaces to fill. And the one in this corner, I'll first build the quick access item shower, which will be for rockets. It's pretty simple redstone. But now, whenever I need a refill on the rockets, all I need to do is stand under here and flick this lever. 
Bam. Oh, yes. And to restock it, all I need to do is go up here and put rockets into this chest. And it sticks with the theme of the sorting area. Now, let's build another quick access item shower on the other side for food, which I'm going to be honest, I'm probably never going to use since I already have a giant food vending machine that I don't have to restock ever. And I don't know what else to put in here. But let me know in the comments. I, I, I literally have no idea. This next place, let's add place to enchant stuff. Actually, let's build the enchanting table like in the floor so it doesn't fill up a lot of space. Let's add some redstone lamps for light. And I want this enchanting area to be like a woody place you know let's add some bookshelves in the wall and around it and some chiseled bookshelves which i think you can put enchanting books inside to store them oh you could wait that's actually sick bro i did not know this was a thing let's add some campfires a lectern a grindstone a painting up here and lastly some carpet on the floor and there we go the enchanting area i like how cozy this is next i want to build an area where i can store my shelter boxes so with trapdoors let's build like shelves for them bam bam bam, bam. build some Fences. And the shelter boxes will like sit on them like this. Let's add some ladders on the side so I can grab the shulkers on the top shelf. And that looks pretty good, but let's build some shelves on the sides using some scaffolding so it looks like industrial, if you get what I mean. Let's add another scaffolding shelf on this side. Now we have more room to store shelker boxes. And with these shelves, you can literally just climb up it to get the top shelker box, which is pretty cool. Let's also add some other items to the shelves just for like decoration in more detail. Lastly, let's add some lights in the floor, power them on. All right, there we go. I now got a place to store my shulkers. In the next spot, let's head over to the iron farm again, grab a ton and ton of iron, and I mean a lot of iron, because this area is going to be for anvils. Yep, just anvils that I can use. You can never have enough anvils in your Minecraft world. You're always going to be using them. Yep, this this should do it. Let's make a brewing area where I can make potions. All right, and this should be enough brewing stands. For why am I doing this? I'm never going to use all of these. Oh my god, bro. Let's make this area look a little bit better. Place down some cauldrons. Fill them with water. And right below them, I'm actually going to be placing some normal water, which I'll use to fill up my water bottles instead of using the cauldrons because it runs out. Let's grab some soul sand and nether wart. Plant it into the ground right here. And lastly, I'll place down some barrels that I'll put potion materials inside of later. I'm not going to do that now. Let's build a nether portal in this spot. Bam. A giant nether portal because that's how we roll now. We have a big nether portal. And let's go inside of it and collect a bunch of different nether blocks. Ah! Because I'm going to decorate this area to look like the nether. And it spread it into the overworld. And I'm also going to build every Minecraft biome around it. Because, you know, that, that will look cool. Maybe trap every mob. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. This whole, this whole chest is made out of wood. And I was almost going to burn it down by placing lava. That would have been really, really bad. Let's place ores all around it. Just like that. And I think that looks pretty good. I specifically built a nether portal right here. So when I'm finishing the storage room, I can easily just go to the nether. All right. And let me just clear out my inventory of this nether blocks I don't need anymore, which is so nice. And I can't wait to get used to that. Build a place where I can store extra armor. And I don't really have any extra gear. But I do, for some reason, I have enchanted netherite armor. That sucks. So don't worry. I'm not wasting it. I'm diamond gear. And on this one, I'll put my side gear, which I got last video. And this place is mostly for decoration since I already have the best armor in the game. But you know, it, it, it looks cool. For the next one, I had this idea since the start of the video, but I don't know if it'll look good. And that is to have a giant map on this back wall. And I think that will look really sick to just have a giant map right there and see that every time I walk in. But let's get a bunch of leather and get some wood, craft stick, to make item frames place them all on this wall leaving a one block gap because if not that would look bad and i do not have enough item frames uh and there you go oh my gosh okay hopefully this doesn't lag my game too much it actually might be too big but who the heck cares let's grab a bunch of sugar cane to craft paper and to craft a map you also need a compass which is iron and redstone oh my gosh guys you don't understand how good this auto sorting system is bam and craft all the maps and now we need to mark these maps and i guess let's start in the middle of my base area which is on top of my plane my, my broken plane and the first one mm -hmm. 
Okay. And I guess while I fly, I'll just mark the maps and keep track of them all. All right. I got enough maps for one row, I think. Let's start placing them down. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're only finished with one row. And that little speck right there is literally my house. Yeah. This map is going to be a little bit massive. All right. I got another row done. So let's see how this looks. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did not realize how massive my plane was. And the furnace. The chest is literally right here. Yeah, this is actually gonna be sick. So let's continue flying around marking down all the maps, which is very painful, by the way. You have to be like super focused. All right, we got half of it filled and it just looks even cooler. And now that I think about this, this map is gonna be like a cool representation of progress because as time goes on, there's gonna be more and more stuff appearing on it. And it'll be cool to look on. And the map is finished. This is actually sick. Here are all the videos. I'll update the map where we worked on. So you guys can see it updating every single video. Let's make this map wall look a little bit better. And bam. This map literally makes this room 50 times better. I'm so glad we added it. And the last amenity we'll build in this chest is, of course, a place for me to AFK. So I don't have to worry about dying and can just uh, relax in here. It has a nice carpet, lights on the ceiling, and I can look out of it. It's nothing special. But with that checked off the list, the massive chest is complete and it's time to show my friend caleb and see what he thinks of it did, did you see it you, you probably saw it before right uh no i saw the outline i didn't see the, the finished thing that actually looks crazy guess how long it took me to build it four hours let's just go why let's just am, go. I am i missing something four hours <laughs> Are you stupid? All right, but I want to show you the inside. It took a while for me to make, but... Wait, can you really quickly... Can you look up? Yeah, yeah, just, just don't, don't look. It took a while for me to make, but... All right, now look. <laughs> Yo, wait, what? Look at the chest room, bruh! Yo, there's a chest inside chest. This is actually sick. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. All these chests are literally auto-sorted, so all you gotta do is put your items into these barrels. All right, put those dark oak planks in. It should go right there. They're not, they're not there yet. Whoa! Yeah. That, that, that's actually... Wow, that's actually sick. Over here, we got a uh, yeah. food dispenser, so when you need food, you get... You... And bam, you got food! Yo, okay, don't let's go. Food. I needed no. this, bro. That's no, need, don't don't. Need... And we got my enchanting area, you know. It's a little bit cozy. Over here, we got where I store my shelter boxes. You can tell. Got my anvils. I don't think I got enough. I need to place what more. The... Why do you have so many anvils? Bro. <laughs> can I have one? Yeah, sure. Hey, hey, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Put it back. Put it back. I totally didn't steal the iron from your iron farm. Okay, uh, we walk over here. We walk over here. I got my AFK chamber. So if I AFK, I can just Dang. sit in here. We got this nice carpet. Yeah, nice carpet. <laughs> we got my, you know, armor if I need to have armor. Whoa. We got my nether portal. We got the brewing area. Bro, you don't need this many. Bro, I accidentally crafted too much, bro. Okay. Look at that. Wait, that's actually sick. You can see everything. Yeah. Bro, don't leave your trash on the ground. What you gotta Bro, do? Bro, I'm sorry. You I literally I just gotta place them in the barrels and that's it. Are you that lazy? Bro, yes. Look at that dude. What is he staring at? Oh. Yo, yeah. If you like this video, you're probably gonna like all my other videos. So, uh, yeah, go watch them right now.